Hi guys, Jenny with On Fire Fit and Sugar Detox is back and I hope that you will consider joining us for Sugar Detox. I am going to give a lot of different information as the time goes by, but today I just wanted to let you know what it is and why you might want to consider joining us. So most people know that sugar has a bad impact on our bodies. Most people know that they probably get too much sugar. There are a lot of things that are hidden in sugars in foods that we don't even really realize are there. And the reason that all of this matters is because it accumulates and builds up in our bodies to a level of tolerance that we don't actually realize sometimes until we read labels or we actually try to get off of sugar. And reality is you probably are not going to try to live forever with no sugar. However, most of the time we get to a point where we're realizing we have had a lot more sugar than what we think is best for us. Maybe we're discovering some health issues that could be linked to sugar. And so when you really start to look at the obvious sugars as well as the hidden sugars, you can kind of get a picture of how much you are consuming and how much of an impact that might be having on your body. We're gonna talk about that throughout, different solutions and things like that. But today I just want you to know that we are going to do this sugar detox together. I have done this group quite a few times in the past. I like to make a video weekly as well as daily posts that will help kind of keep us on track. There is a lot of power in doing things together. Sometimes when you do things all alone, it is very easy to give up quickly. And it's also very isolating to try to do something that goes against the grain. Because sugar is out there and everywhere, it can be a little intimidating to try to deal with this all by yourself. So if you know that we're doing this together, it gives some camaraderie and we just feel like, okay, I can do this. I know that Bill's doing this in his house, I can do it here, and it just kind of helps with the morale and the ability to stick with it. So I will get into the details of what sugar does to your body in week one. You will notice today that I am wearing pink because I thought, what a perfect color that represents sweetness and sugar, right? <laughs> and I have my little pink post-its to remind me of what I am doing each week. So this first week that we actually start to consider what this whole sugar detox program is about, I will be giving you kind of the information about how sugar affects the body, and what we are going to do to try to get rid of that sugar craving and that sort of overwhelm that we get into, especially around the holidays, but really all times of the year nowadays, it seems to be an issue. So we're going to talk all about that, that first week, which will be January 3rd for that week, we will just be looking at labels we will be kind of paying attention to where sugar lurks out there. And then we're going to start to purge that stuff and then start to prep. So I like us to be aware of what's going on in the first place and then do some purging because when you set up your environment in such a way that it is going to help set you up for success, you will have a much better chance of sticking with this. If there is a bunch of sugar at home, it may be a difficult thing. I know a lot of us have families that are not willing to give up the sugar, so you may not be able to purge everything, but really consider your trigger foods that could be something that you can get out of the house. See if maybe those that you live with would be willing to have those things not nearby, at least for that 
three weeks that we're doing this. And that way you don't have to fight against that urge when you have it in a weak moment. So we're going to be doing some prep and we're going to actually talk about planning and what you can do to be able to get through a sugar detox. My on fire fit sugar detox is done in two different fork in the road paths and you get to choose. I call the hardcore version version one and Hello Kitty is version two. Hardcore means that you are not eating obvious sugars, but you're also not eating hidden sugars. And what I mean by that is a lot of foods have hidden sugar, like ketchup has sugar in it. A lot of spaghetti sauces have sugar in it. A lot of breads have sugar in it. Those are not obvious sugars like cake, cookies, pie, soda, things like that. So if you're going hardcore, you are getting rid of obvious sugars, hidden sugars, and even fake sugars. So no Splenda, aspartame, not even Stevia for the program, because the reason that we get addicted to sugar is because of the heightened sweetness that our palate starts to crave. So as long as you are keeping that sugar going in the body, whether it's a fake sugar, a hidden sugar, an obvious sugar, it's just keeping your taste buds wanting more sweetness. So if you wanna really detox your taste buds, you get off of all of those things in the hardcore version. I do have some people that are not willing to go hardcore and we call that Hello Kitty. And I get called Hello Kitty because it's kind of the softer version of it. You still are eating maybe the hidden sugars and maybe fake sugars, which I really steer you away from, unless it's stevia, but that's another story. Um, but in the Hello Kitty version, you are not drinking juice, soda, Gatorade, and you're also not eating all of those um, obvious sugars like cakes and cookies and pies and things like that. So both of them will help your body. Both of them will help reduce inflammation in your body because you're reducing your sugar intake. Hardcore is going to reset your palate. Hello Kitty will not, but they both are going to have a good effect on your body. So you get to choose, no judgment, and you get to decide which path. It's going to be a three-week program. The first two weeks are the most full-blown uh, detox type. The third week is when the hardcore people could decide to go Hello Kitty if they wanted to, to transition back toward hopefully what real life will look like. Um, but you are more than welcome to continue hardcore the whole way. I always do the hardcore and I always do it the whole three weeks, but you do have the option of then transitioning that third week. So most of us are going to choose one path or the other that is going to fit into our lifestyle and then probably do two good solid weeks of the program and the third week we start talking about what happens next and trying to learn how to live in reality with this and I actually have you know some of my friends clients and people that have gone through this program with me who have stuck with the hardcore version for long periods of time and you can research YouTube videos and things where people have gone years without any sugar. So it is not unheard of. It is a commitment and it is a lifestyle, but people always find good benefits. But my goal with this sugar detox is to basically get our taste buds back to tasting real food and real sweetness, not the heightened, hyped up kind of stuff really kind of cleanse that palate, especially after you come out of holidays where there is a lot of stuff going on with unusual foods that you're not necessarily eating all days of the year. So this is a great jump start, a great restart. 
and it feels good. You're going to feel better. Your energy levels are going to be more steady. Yes, I will give you the first week. If you are truly addicted to sugar, you might feel not the best. And in this sugar detox, you're not told you have to give up caffeine and things, but if you're used to drinking Starbucks lattes with shots of vanilla and everything, and you're not drinking that anymore, you may notice that you get headaches or feel foggy or something. And you can still drink coffee, black coffee, without the sweeteners in it or tea or whatever. So at least we're not going... This is where I always think it's hard when you do a detox where they get rid of alcohol and sugar and dairy and caffeine. And it it's, I'm not saying you shouldn't try that or do that, but it can be a lot all at once sometimes. So in this program, we're just giving up the sugar. The other stuff you can consider for the next program if you want, but it is something that I have seen a lot of people get benefit. Uh, the people that report back to me after they've done the on fire sugar detox have the ones that have maintained it, especially have told me that all of their blood tests have improved and their doctor even asked them, what did you do differently? And these people actually were not people that were necessarily eating a ton of sugar but they just got rid of a lot of hidden sugars and the only difference was that they got rid of sugar in their diet and all of their cholesterol blood sugar levels and different things like that were all coming back much better so it is going to be a health benefit like i said i'll talk about this more in detail and all the effects as the program gets started i am going to start us off on january 3rd and that'll be the week of prep. And then January 10th is the day that we actually start the detox. So this gets you time to prepare, get your mental state, your shopping, maybe getting rid of some things in the house that might be your trigger. And that way we'll have time to kind of get it all together. That'll give us three weeks to be able to do this program together. You do need to join my Patreon health tier. So that will be where all the information and everything is kind of distributed at that. And so definitely join us on health tier. That is the highest tier I have in my Patreon because I put the most time into it and it does require more of me. And so we are going to do that together. I hope that you will consider joining us. I know this life is sweet and it doesn't have to be sweet with sugar. We can have it sweetened up with all of these wonderful things that we get to do together. So I hope you will join us and that you're living today on fire.